Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to part 2 of my Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay. This of course is not live commentary at the moment since this was pre-recorded. I just wanted to hop in here real quick and make mention of a few things. So I recorded my initial three hours of playing the game on stream, so there's going to be about six episodes going up from the one stream. Uh, the first episode I put up, it was basically the unedited 30 minutes of the stream. What I noticed by looking at the analytics is the viewer retention wasn't very good on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of just make some cuts and some edits here throughout the second episode and just see how that plays out. Uh, I know it's going to be a lot more entertaining to watch if there's a lot more action and everything like that, and I can get a lot more content into one video so you're not just sitting through the unedited version. Leave a comment down below if you guys would prefer just the full gameplays like I was planning to do originally. Uh, we're going to pick up right here where I left off in the first episode. I was trying to get my way up to what looked like a gold stash on the top of this mountain, but I couldn't quite figure out how to do it so eventually I just gave up and moved on. Hope you guys enjoy it and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm just going to stop embarrassing myself. I'm just going to head out. What is happening? Turn to ice if I stay here. You never know. I'm just gonna go this fox while we're coming this way, though. It's free loot. Just up here at this enormous fucking blue cloud, I would assume. Somebody threw a smoke grenade over here. Of iron. There is fighting nearby. I don't know where their voice sounds so weird. Dag, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Chotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Aval's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I can storm the beach then. <laughs> slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. So now I Go. should be able to block and shit, I would imagine. Ship. Cast about this land, my friend. Is this what I'm looking for here? I guess so. There's, there's a bad guy in here. In the roof, you say? Okay, okay. There's so many people here, though. Let me drop this dude real quick. Save myself the trouble later. Especially considering that I would imagine we're probably going to have to fight. This would be the opening. Yes. Yes, it would. You squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Okay. Is he right there? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand. I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. I'll split you! 
Oh, it's a boss fight. Okay. Kneel, wolf kissed, and I will spare your life. Oh, I'll just the dodge. Okay. Shut your hole and fight. Die, you sack of shit. Stamina is consumed when dodging or missing an attack. When asked stamina, you can't dodge a block until it's been fully replenished. Okay. Well, that was easy. Hopefully I can get some new armor and stuff, because I'm not really liking the look of these just little rags and tathers I'm wearing. I don't Father, look very Viking-esque. You should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it know! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! I guess the wolf is my spirit animal. <laughs> That's supposed to be the the father. Of course. All right, some new uh, some new items. That's awesome. Okay, let's see. Can I go loot my arrows back from that guy? Although I can just fill up here. I have some new armor, Raven Clan armor. Okay, okay, we're starting to look more and more Viking, more and more Viking esque. Some Raven Clan bracers, okay. The new axe. Uh, 54. So it's better in everything except speed. That's fine with me. And some new boots as well. Hell yeah. See, now this is more what I want to look like. Ah, oh, thank you, my friend. Why do these guys look exactly like us? Oh, they're hostile. What the fuck? I don't know who's who here. What the fuck? That guy's dead. I love the fact that you can be like a combat archer, that's pretty nice. I died. <laughs> What the fuck? I just hit that person through oh my guys, okay. Oh, 
Right? Did I just kill two in one swing there? What the fuck? Ooh, are you swimming yet? It's nowhere near where I was aiming or wanting to go, but I'll take it. Alright, so, time to just run over all these guys, I guess. Okay, there's people fighting down here. I do love the fact, though, that your attacks can carry through into, like, the next enemy or whatever. That's pretty nice. I do actually have to heal myself here a little bit, too, because my health is, like, basically zero. Got him! Suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit. I like my version better. <laughs> Evo, look. Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut this men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Let's do it. Drop the sail! Take it! it. I love that. That's awesome. Let's hit the bastards! This is awesome. It's exactly what I wanted from this game. I mean, you see the guys in the back flinging arrows at us, too. I also love the fact that you can loot during combat. It's awesome. I can just kind of you know, do my own thing here while the rest of my men do all the fighting. <laughs> Retrieve my arrows. That's a nice bow. Can't I take it? That will cost you. Oh shit, okay. He decided he didn't want any of my shit, I guess. Just threw down his sword and was like, fuck it. Oh, fuck you up. I think this is one of the last guys here. I'm also curious if it's kind of like doing raids in AC4, where you get like, uh, you know, supplies and shit that you can sell or if we get like weapons and stuff or what happens here if we go in here there's shit to loot no yeah there we go that's what i want to see a bone biter oh that's so cool the ai loots and stuff hell yeah i'm liking this i'm liking this a lot yeah, look at this, there's loot up here. Anything good? There's a sacred orb. What does this read it? Herald ships come and go and give us trouble, just as you said. Raven ships are few and show no great strength. The land is ours to take. Well, you just got raided, so, you know. Of the things, the, uh, the health shots, whatever they call them. Yeah. 
Is this guy just over here guarding nothing, or like what? Obsidian. That's interesting. So they're like little uh, resource nodes then, in a way. It's pretty cool. Even on the low settings that I have it on, this game still looks like fucking amazing. Yotve will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer <laughs> a pair of seal skin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. I go this way. Yeah. I hope there's more to our clan than this, because goddamn. Although I'd imagine we have probably a big, uh, a big settlement back where, wherever we're going, because this looks like just the warriors of the, of the clan. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Kjotve's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull who dares sing that verse, it'll be his last song. History is written by the victor Let's after sail. all, right? Pull up here! Speak to Randvi. you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about. Except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. I want to check out the shops and stuff around here, if there are any. I would imagine there are. A but... cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. Hello, Eivor! Everyone knows me, apparently. That's cool. Who's this? Well, look who it is! Practicing your wordplay, <laughs> Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. 
You told me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Oh, these were the uh Let's try the word battles that I've heard of. Put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teachings, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Uh... <laughs> then I tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Ah, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. This is, this is something else, man. <laughs> You're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Elvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. I'm liking this so far, though, because it's far more of like a, an RPG, because we have actual skills and stuff to level up, right? Whereas the previous games, it's literally just been kind of a, you know, you play it, you level up when the game tells you you level up, that kind of thing, right? Story-based. No 